Hello everybody, welcome to your weekly Beacons of Angel Light reading. This is me, Trudy Healy, and I just woke up, but I needed to give you guys a message. I barely had like a sip of coffee. I'm just fresh out of bed and they're like, go, go, go. You didn't do it yesterday, right now, carpe diem. Um, so here I am. This is your weekly reading starting yesterday. Sorry that it's late. Um, but in this week, we do have a Cancer full moon, which takes place the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. That should be Saturday. Um, depending which area, it could be the 22nd or the 23rd, depending where you are on planet Earth. And so this moon is going to be the winter solstice moon, right? What is winter solstice? So in the summer, we have the longest day of the year. In the winter, we have the longest night of the year, the darkest night of the year. But being that there's a full moon in Cancer, it is not going to be dark at all. It's going to be highly illuminated. And being that it's in Cancer, the things that are going to be illuminated with the light of the full moon are going to be the depths of the emotions. Cancer is a highly emotional sign. So um, this is going to be a season of nostalgia. Nostalgia more than likely from your childhood, okay? And not like a bad nostalgia, like reminiscing the good old days, you know? Um, and then we also have... Oh yeah, I did want to mention that because Cancer is a cardinal sign. The cardinal signs are uh, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, and Libra. So we're the ones who have all these innovative ideas and we start a whole bunch of things and then we never see them through to completion. It kind of sucks. But we're the ones to start things. This is a brand new baby energy. Also, we're at zero degrees. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the moon is going to be zero degrees of Cancer. So this is a baby energy. Uh, powerful new cycle. And then, all right, we do have a new moon solar eclipse coming in January um, in Capricorn. And I will cover that when we get closer to it. Um, but I did want to pull, you know, contrary to usual, I pull these at the end. And I was guided to pull one psh, 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 right from Rip because I'm being told that everything that comes out in the reading is going to relate to the chakra that we mentioned. So there we have it, two chakras. These are chakra reading cards by Rachel Charman. Give credit where credit is due. All right, so let's unmask these babies. All right, the first one that we have is heal or release or listen to your inner child. This is definitely heart chakra energy. You're in the midst of healing yourself. You're in the midst of re recognizing yourself. You put yourself on the back burner for so long, you forgot what it was like to even hear yourself. Okay, so this is reconnecting with your inner child, with your divine, beautiful, innermost, genuine self, which is completely void of ego. Listen to it, because it has a lot of guidance to offer you of where you truly want to be in this lifetime. Um, not just on a self matter, but on a soul level, what resonates with your soul and why you signed up for this three-dimensional existence contract, your inner child knows. All right, and then also pay close attention to your dreams. This is some third eye activity, if I've ever seen it. Keep a dream journal. Keep it right next to your bed. Go to the Dollar Tree, spend a buck, and get yourself a dedicated book for just dreams. You can label it dreams beginning 2000, December 2018 through 2019. Make it really simple. And if you can't even remember what the dream was, when you wake up, write down the emotion that you have. If you're out of breath or whatever it may be, okay? Just write it down, it's fine because it'll offer significance, especially once you put dates to it and you go back and reread it in hindsight, there's gonna be a catch 22. All right, so let's move on. Next, we're using Dorian Virtue and Rally Valentine's Angel Tarot. I love these cards. <clears throat> I'm a little injured. Everything hurts when I cough or laugh. Just here, I believe I stretched the muscle too hard. Um, 
so I've been kind of gentle with myself. That was kind of the reason I didn't see the video. Psh, psh, psh. I was in a great deal of pain on Sunday. And Saturday, actually. But Sunday, even more than Saturday. There we go. There's our first card. So we have the two of air. Two is talking about choices. And there's conflicting points of view here. Uh, a stalemate. Unwillingness to face a problem, acting like there's nothing wrong, but there really is, because these two unicorns are battling each other horn to horn. All right, so this is some inner child activity here. You need to listen to your inner child in regards with this. All right, we have another card. The Knight of Fire. These are events that have picked up pace. This is some something that surged that requires for you to take immediate action. There's no more time for lollygagging. This guy is on his horse. He is a knight. He's ready to go fight and honor his king and defend his kingdom. Um, so this is someone very passionate, self-assured, restless. And this is someone also who thinks things through carefully before acting, even though time is of the essence. So talk about thinking on your toes, right? This is, again, returning to the inner child. And we're going to get one more for the inner child. And that was not it. That was not it. Lulu, get down. She's always trying to be involved. Oh my gosh, I'm being a mess. Okay, they said this is it. The inner child has to do here with also Archangel Raphael, the lovers. This is referencing your intimate relationships. Yes, the romantic ones, but also the ones in your family, your friends. There must be more healing that needs to take place from the heart chakra in order to deepen and strengthen the relationships that you have here around you. This is most certainly an inner child issue. Um, being passionate self-assured and adventurous there is something lacking in this aspect because of the inner child healing that needs to take place perhaps you're not confident in yourself i know that's how it applies for me but for you it may be differently right um so then we have dreams let's see what cards they give us for dreams Angels, you guys are so awesome. Thank you for waking me up so early to get this done. Push out these videos. Um, hopefully I'll get around to the romance one sometime today. All right, so this has to do with dreams. We have the six of air. Things are looking up, even though you don't feel like it. It's the end of a difficult situation. Your ship is most certainly coming in. It's about to make landfall there. And because it is a ship, this is also talking about potentially taking a trip, potentially being on foreign waters, or taking a trip that's somewhere in front of a body of water, okay? But this is, for a lot of us, it's going to be a trip, so please leave it in the comments. If I don't get to go on a vacation, I want to live vicariously through you. Let me know where you went and how that all went. Uh, <laughs> and let's see what else we have. Ooh, Archangel Metatron. And he's coming forth as the chariot. The charioteer is someone victorious. Someone who is a champion, who's a hero, who is admired. Someone who is victorious over difficult odds, okay? And Archangel Metatron is here encouraging you because you do have the Knight of Fire, right? He's here encouraging you with third eye visions. For you to know and realize and accept this is who you are. It's talking about willpower. It's talking about accepting public recognition, which you're very shy about. It's talking about self-discipline. It's talking about all the things that you achieve. Archangel Metatron is very disciplined and disciplined, very structured, very he is the keeper of Book of Deeds. I mean, God appointed Archangel Metatron, who is formerly human, 
one of the only angels to ever have been human, appointed him the book of deeds instead of the other archangels. Okay? So he's a very powerful, very structured, military even, style angel, Archangel Metatron. I love him so much. Anyway, but here we have the Queen of Earth, and she is very thoughtful. Um, she makes time for her loved ones. She realized that time is finite, and her loved ones need her now, and she needs them equally. So she makes time for those that are around her. She is very sensible, so when there's conflict, she takes a creative approach onto how to handle things. And she's very kind-hearted when she's dealing with perhaps misunderstandings or difficult situations. And so she does handle these things in a very kind-hearted manner. I'm gonna put these cards away now. And I'm gonna pull a card from The Flower of Life by Denise Jarvay, and that will be our reading for the week. So, psh, psh, psh. I do feel like these are Archangel Metatron cards. If you've watched me before use these cards, Lulu, get down. Get down. So, if you've watched me use these cards before, you've heard me say Archangel Metatron, even though they don't say Archangel Metatron on them. And look, he came up in the reading, and just about every time I've uh, decided to, okay, it's both of these, use these cards, he comes up. It's like a little confirmation, yes, darling, even though my name isn't on there, she... She may not have known that I was the one influencing, but most certainly these are my cards. It's my messages. And that's how I feel like he's coming up because that's why it's his confirmation to me that yes, it is an Archangel Metatron deck. All right, so the first card we got is Tarot. You got this because you're listening to me. So if my messages resonate, please click like, comment, and definitely subscribe, Kralio. Please subscribe. All right, uh, we're getting close to... I think 400 subscribers would be really exciting if we got to 500 or 1,000 this year. Anyway, um, so a tarot reading will inspire, give guidance, create new paths for you. A reading is objective. There's no external authority deciding if you've been good enough to be rewarded or bad enough to have something taken away. For everything in the outside world is a reflection of the inner. Allow a reading to be what it is. Objective material flowing from your higher self to alert you to the truth and the essence of you. A reading can show you where your life potential is. However, if you're not willing to make the changes that are being shown to you or have been brought to you by a reading, nothing will change. Each experience gives you the opportunity to move away from fearful thinking you have the potential to be whomever you want. That is going on the side of inner child, okay? And then we have agreements, and I think we've seen this recently before. By the way, on this note, angels are telling me to remind you that if you do want a personal reading and this wasn't good enough and you saw your zodiac and you still want more, you want a more personalized version of it, go ahead and click. Um, there should be a tiny little, you know, triangle facing downwards as if to be a, a, uh, an arrow, you click on that, that's a description box. And then there's directions and there's all of your different options that I have afforded to you. Once my mom arrives, I will no longer be doing private readings, so get your reading. Okay, um, now we have here agreements, okay? And this is the agreement that we have with everyone in this world, why we incarnated in three-dimensional existence. Okay, imagine for just a moment that we are all connected, all different streams of consciousness originating from one source, experiencing and playing upon this physical earth plane in all its shadow and light to develop, grow, and become more. The shadow and light cause tension and resistance, but also allow us to see our ideas, thoughts, and creations manifest into physical in order for us to create more to be pioneers creating unfolding newness for the sheer joy of it it would seem unreasonable that our connectedness that in our connectedness we would sense anything out of balance the natural order of the universe has 
all things moving back into balance in whatever way possible. We often call this an agreement a contract or a karma. But it can all, you can also see these labels may not be what we think they are, for all is just moving back into balance, back into love. So whether your attention goes to your family, friends, work colleagues, someone you bump into, someone you observe, someone you admire, or someone you dislike, we are all in a contract, an agreement with each other to remind us of the love that we truly are. And so with that, guys, I am going to leave you. That's your reading for this week. I hope you enjoy that full moon energy. I love you so much. Please like, comment, and definitely subscribe. Mwah! I love you. Love yourselves and love everybody around you.